Hey, hey. Uh, hi, today I'll tell you about Tiled Map Editor, very advanced uh, software. We will talk about how to create maps there and how to export them. So you will be able to use your programming language to access these maps. So first of all, I have some experience. Uh, this is my multiplayer roguelike game. And this game, this level, which you see right now, it's designed with the tiled. By the way, this is houses of uh, real players. Yeah, this is multiplayer online game, tangaria.com, you could uh, check it. So yeah, I used tiled a lot and I think it's one of the best software for level editing. First of all, you need to download it. So after you download it tiled, you start it and you click new project. So let me make it, but let me highlight cursor so you will see. So you click uh, new project and save project with a name like example uh, game. Okay, now we have a project, you see on top left there is a game name. Let's, let's create a map. So we click new map and here uh, you could choose uh, size of your map, the most important thing. So for example like 18 for 18. You could choose some different size. And the important thing is tile size. So each element of your map, it should have certain size. So standard size it's 32 pixels for a lot of old school games. So I use it too. Also you could uh, go for isometric view or check different format of uh, storaging your map. So default value is alright here. So just choose different size of your map. Okay, now you have your map. But uh, it's, you see, it's 18 by 18 and there is a uh, characteristics like properties of your map. Uh, but you do not have any tiles to draw something there. To add them, you need to add tile set. So you click new tile set. Here there are two different ways. So you could take collection of images. So if you have, if your tile set already cut it, into small pieces, you could choose them or you could uh, choose whole image. Whole image it's easier to, to use, so let me choose, I have tile set with the different floors. Okay, and now we would save this tile set, it's just uh, XML file. I'll show all this file later on. So this is our tile set with different terrains. Uh, how to... Um, yeah, so how to draw something on the map? You just choose, for example, let's uh, draw a grass and you choose instrument stem brush and you could draw it like this. Yeah, so let's uh, with the control and will you could uh, zoom in and zoom out. So let's create like an island. You see, I draw a lot of grass around this island. And let's fill inside, let me show you some features of this style, of this tool. So we could uh, choose first tile and then press shift and click at something like else. So you choose several tiles in, in, a, in one click and you could already kind of like put them like this. But this is not very impressive. The most interesting thing is to use randomizer. So if you will choose bucket tool and then you will click at random mode, you will be able to fill entire, um, entire element which is limited with this grass out of uh, other places. You could fill it with randomized landscape which, which looks really cool. So, we, for example, we could also include the, some relief. Let me do it like this. Yeah, you see, now, now it looks really fun. So it, it's one of a lot of, there are a lot of different features like this. It's one of them. So you could, where, you could create maps very fast like this. And also let's uh, make a water outside. So also use fill. Yeah, we made, made the water. Uh, a lot of people, they use tile, uh, this tool tiled like this, mostly. They just create one layer and put their stuff. It 
it looks uh, legit and interesting so quite nice but actually it's much better there are some ways to make it better to use for example layers so like in photoshop or some graphic editors there is a layer so first layer we would call it floor we have it here we could hide it on show let's create another layer we would call it like transition Tran transition uh, and let's create a, let's add another tile set for this layer so let's click here new tile set choose and i'll choose trans png it's another tile set of mine okay you see we have uh, like tabs on top of the screen which we could switch now uh, we could uh, draw at this second layer we could uh, use another uh, tile set to draw there or we could by the way use uh, old tile set too but let me show you for example we would take a mountain you see i just i have here a mountain so i choose it with a shift like this and now we could put it in our map like this why floors they are awesome because if i'll choose floor for example and i'll uh, make some sand sandy floors let's make them like this um, randomizer let's make them here for example some sand so now at second floor at second layer we could uh, make our uh, mountains you see at with, with a different background so here we have mountains on the grass and here we have mountains on the sand it's because it's second layer so we could hide it and this transition layer with it has transparent tiles there so they are all transparent which with this uh, with the help of this feature you could make a really nice feature so most of the games which you for example we could add like a ship here you see even here we could put a ship <laughs> yeah so uh, most of the games modern games 2d games they use layers so let's create another layer um, let's call it terrain for example and add another tile set terrain save okay so now we could add trees for example and you could put trees uh, on top of uh, on top of the mountain you see it's look really fun uh, this stuff so you could use several layers uh, which can enhance your uh, look of your game greatly you see so uh, it's one of uh, few possibilities you see there are a lot of different tools uh, and you, you could just click and learn how, how to work with it i want to now talk about some internal stuff more complex how to export maps how to use them how they stored and i want to start with uh, uh, this thing so first of all uh, each layer has its own properties you see it has like name class blah 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 each tile set also has its own properties so if you would go to different tile sets you will see um, its features each element in tile set has its own id so for example let's let's take a first 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 layer let's take a look at first layer we have we used at first layer we used tile set which called floor and each element on the on this tile set has id you see for example first element has id 0 second element id 1 id 2 etc so uh, when we save our tile set uh, when we save our project yeah you could also First of all, you save your project and then you could save actually the map which we created. So now I'm saving the map. 
So let's call it map. Yeah. And let me show you how it looks like. So it's uh, our project. So when we just started, we created game. And this is kind of some properties of your project. Tile set or stored as a XML file. And file which we saved right now, it's most interesting file, which show us how data stored inside of this um, file. So uh, let me look first of all at coordinates. It's important uh, to understand um, how tiled works with coordinates. If you hover your mouse on top, if you hover your mouse on top of uh, any square, you will see there uh, at left bottom, you will see coordinate. For example, this is 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0. So, uh, and if you would go down, it will be like 0, 5, 0, 7. Why 0, 0 coordinate? Why it starts not from the center? As uh, in school, we learn like to create uh, such thing, like graph, and we have 0 in the center. Why uh, tiled use this way of storing um, coordinates. It comes from the long time. So first games, they were like regular games and they used text to store stuff like this. Uh, and when we input something into terminal, we start from top left corner. So this symbol, it has coordinates 0, 0. This one has one zero this one two zero this one zero one this one zero two etc so this is very right uh, way to store coordinates so when i just started to work it was like for me and i thought why 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 not to create zero in the center it's actually it's much more convenient and much better to have coordinates from top left screen so this is zero zero now, uh, let's put to this, we, we could look at this place in our map. We see here, what we see here, yeah. Let, let me sh show you like this, it will be easier to understand. So I'll zoom out a bit. In this file of our project, you could see that actually our map, our first layer, it could be seen uh, if we zoom out. It's stored with the numbers. So each number, it's just a number of tile ID. So for example, we had here deep water, you see here deep water on top left uh, tile, we have deep water and this is 105 ID. Here we see 106. Why 106? Because uh, yeah, because tiled, it uses, uh, if we do not have any tiles, for example, if I delete tiles from here, and this is, will be empty, if I'll save it and reload it, we will see here zero. So actually, uh, tile with ID zero, for example, if we would put it here, again, save and reload, tile with ID zero will be shown like one. It's because tiled, store empty field as a zero. It could be a bit confusing at first, but uh, later on you will see that it's actually very um, smart thing to do. So uh, let me like put some zero tiles, let's save and you will see, okay, it's a lot of ones. So basically it's very simple way or to store data, our first layer, you see, there is a, in this file, there is a layer ID one. So for this first layer, we have, uh, for each tile, we have number, simply number of um, tile, which we use in this place. This is layer number two. Let's take a look at it. So it's called layer number two. 
it's named transition and here we see a lot of zeros why let me show you it's layer number two it has just a few mountains so if we would look, look at it you see you could find this okay this is 577 ids here and it's all zero so if for example i'll put again to the top left corner i'll put here some this first tile in transition tile set it's a river if i'll put it here and save we will see here uh, that zero become 385 why it's 385 if we have if we would look at it it has id zero because it's different tile sets i have three tile sets right now so floor has it starts with a zero and uh, yeah it, it it shows as a one which is like it yeah we like it it's understandable but why why uh if we choose second tile set which we added transition if i'll put this first tile which has id zero again for this tile set it's a zero and i save it why it has 385 it's because uh, when we save in this format so this is native format for tiled this one tmx it's native format and it's actually combining all tile sets together and this is a very good thing actually uh, so look our last tile in the floor tile set it's 383 383 so for example if i'll edit at our floor layer and i'll save it save it yes we would see it here 384 because it's plus one, as I said, uh, because zero it's occupied for empty place. So now you, I think you already figured out. Okay, because this is the last tile of our first tile set, and it's 384 here. You see, 84 here. That's why next tile set which we added, next element it will be 385. So if we would again if we, we added it already yeah so if you would look at it you would see that it's 385 because tiled is just merge it's like combining after this tile set it next one which you added it will uh, just start its ids not from zero but in this particular format in tmx there are different formats so i'll show you some others so it's important thing to understand and it give us very nice things uh, because what we could do uh, we could use not one tile set for our first layer we could use any tile set at first layer so uh, for example we could put these uh, mountains at the first layer then we could uh, go transitions and put their terrain tile set so it gives us possibility more freedom it gives give you more freedom to create stuff but also it's uh, creating some could create some confusion but if you know what you're doing it's kind of interesting thing so uh, if you do not like this system when you can uh, add when you do not um, yeah how to say uh, when you ids they are not the same so because you see here id zero and if you for example use a script which will cut down your tile set at small elements and then each element will be like zero one zero dot png or G, gpg G, jpj <laughs> JP, <laughs> and, uh, jpg we call it uh, jpg in my native language so uh, if you would cut your tile set into small pieces then uh, you could call them with these names and it will be easy for you to bind it to your game with this system you see it's a kind of a bit messy and you need to know what you're doing so if you do not like this you could choose different formats to 
export your map how to do it file export test and there are some other other uh, formats for example most easiest way it's csv csv so let me show you would save our map which has three layers as three files you see we have three separate files so let's take a look at first one map floor csv and here as you let me now make some fun uh, i want to create here some uh, grass just because it's zero zero number element now if we would export it again uh, okay we need to export this again yes replace now you see uh, wait okay yeah i i, I did it at wrong floor on wrong uh, layer we need to do it here so let's use floor yeah and floor save uh export yes now you see it's zeros so if you export in csv each uh, tile id it will be the same as um, in your map which is very uh, convenient in some cases so the problem is that yes you have three different layers and they stored separately also difference between tiled is that tiled format it has it empty fields stored as zeros you see here we have a lot of zeros it's empty fields in csv formats empty fields stored with minus one and as you understand zeros is just first id uh, of the tile so it, it's preserved its id in csv format which is very nice but you have limitations so if i'll try and i'll take uh, for the first in our first map in our first layer i'll try to use style set from other um, other tile set and i'll try to map it here and we would export it now again i'll open now we see that actually uh, uh sorry yeah you see that actually it's zeros but i used another tile set so here in our uh, tiled form tmx here you will have like huge numbers sometimes like 700 something because all tile sets they index it and you could use any tile set at your map when you export in C csv format each tile set bound to each all tile sets they have the same numbers and the same ideas so each tile set starts with zero um, if you save in csv and if you say save in uh, tiles format they kind of all index it this one will be zero this one will, will be 385 this one will be like 700 something so you see there are some drawbacks and advantages you need to choose a proper format for your game how you want to design it Basically, it's all what I wanted to share with you. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll make more videos, more guides about game dev and game design and about tiled, of course. Hope to see your comments. Let's discuss features which I showed you today. Maybe give some uh, tips, some interesting ideas. Maybe uh, you could ask some questions and we will try to help you with our community. Hope to see your comments. Have a good day. Bye-bye.